Hi everybody. This is my 2015 Ducati Panigale 899, and this is my GoPro mounted on my custom GoPro mount specific for the Ducati Panigale. I designed and fabricate this in-house, and it's now available for you to buy yourself. It works with all versions of the Panigale, V4, V4SP, V2, 959, 899, 1199, all of them uh, will work because they have the same bolt pattern. It uses the factory hardware and it is the cleanest, most perfect place to mount your GoPro, uh, if you're, especially if you're going on, uh, on track and you wanna capture your on track video. Couple of things, by putting it up here, a lot of that wind noise is deflected right over the microphone. So you don't have overwhelming amount of wind noise. Also, by putting it up here, you have the perfect view out the windscreen. You can aim it so you can actually pick up your dash as well, and it doesn't get in the way of your view while you're in a full tuck. Also, by putting it here, it's better than the alternative, which I have done in the past, which is put it up here. Problem is, as soon as you try to get into a tuck, this is exactly where your chin bar of your helmet's gonna be. So you will be bumping into that and it's really annoying. So that is what led me to design this. And uh, now I'm gonna jump into showing you how to install it. So what you will receive when you order from my link that will be in the description is this metal plate here. It'll be pre-bent and it has the bolt pattern which is going to marry up with these two bolts here. It comes like this. It does not come with a GoPro base. I figured everybody has enough of those and you can put one on yourself if you want one. It does have a quarter inch hole here. So you do have the option of actually bolting a base or a 360 camera base directly on here. If you want, you have the option. You'll also notice these little reliefs here. They're not just to lose a little bit of weight and to add a little bit of form figure. These are actually intended to be tethers. So you can tie your camera off just as any track day organization is gonna require. Now, once you have this and you have unpackaged your new mount, you're going to need one wrench. This is a number four, four millimeter Allen key. It's going to go right in here to the factory bolts. We'll loosen these up and pull them out. You'll see they look like that. And just like that, I've got two. I'll also mention from the factory, there appears to be a uh, Loctite that they put on these. It may be your case that when you unscrew these, it will actually unscrew the base, the stud at the bottom here. If that happens, you'll want to back it all the way out as far as you can. And then you're going to have to pull these screws out here and another one here. These are also four millimeter bolts. When you pull those out, you can lift this whole trim piece off around from around the ignition here. And you'll see the stud with this bolt still attached. The best way that I've found is to use a pair of channel locks to grab the stud on the back there. They have little grooves so you can lock onto them pretty good. And then with your wrench, crack this loose. That's only if, if the Loctite is too heavy on that and it comes off when you try to loosen these. In most cases, these will come off just like they did for me. Now I'm gonna take my new mount and I'm going to drop in both of these. So they'll fall, they'll fall in like that and I can place them right over top of the studs that I just pulled them off of. I'm gonna tighten one down kind of hand tight, a little snug, like so. And they don't need to be super tight. 
snug. Snug is all they need to be. And just like that, you've now got your new mount installed. From here, you're going to want to install your GoPro base. These come with your GoPro. They're very common. If you need extras of these, they're very cheap to pick up on Amazon or anywhere else. This is designed for this oval shaped base. There's a square or rectangular base as well that has a curve on it. Don't use that. Use, use this one with the oval shape. Now, when you peel that off, you can just line it up and push, push the base so that the, the adhesive holds it in place uh, and make sure that it's stuck on there really good. Now, once you have that, you're good to go. You could also put the base on before, um, just like this one, doesn't really matter. It also allows you pretty quick um, change out. So if you want to have this bracket on for a track day or while you're out there riding through the canyons, you can pop this on really easily and take it off whenever you don't need it. If you're just, uh, if you're just riding around not recording. So now that you've got that in place, using the standard base, snaps on and tighten it down. You have free movement of everything from your steering, access to your key. It's far enough forward that it's not going to interfere with your chin bar, which is great. And it gives a great view out the windscreen. At the end of the video, I'm gonna put a short video of you riding around with it mounted like this so that you can see what the vibration looks like uh, and what the view out the windscreen actually looks like as well. One thing that is was actually a characteristic that I thought of while I was designing this was using this thinner uh, steel, it has just a little bit of give, has a little bit of flex in it. That was on purpose. That allows this to to uh, isolate the camera slightly from the vibration of these big engines. Um, some of the other options that are on the market for similar mounting styles are much more rigid. And uh, in the reviews, you'll see that people complain about how the vibration uh, comes through on the camera. So with mine, it's not an issue. With that, uh, I'm going to put a link to where you can buy this mount uh, in the description. And feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know uh, if you've bought one and how you like it. Uh, I appreciate all the feedback and anybody that purchases these. They are ready to ship now and we'll ship next day. Thanks.